It's time for the GizWiz with Mads Mattis writer Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1944, recorded July 13th, 2023. Skyfoiled again! On this episode of the GizWiz, Dick D. has some gadgets from Christmas in the summertime. So we're going to check those out. I have another uh, inexpensive outdoor summer gadget for you, and we have a viewer. What the heck is it? All next on the Gizwiz show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. 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 Oh, and here he is, the best dressed giz, <laughs> gizzer, uh, gadget guy. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing good. Doing great. Um, did you buy anything on Prime Day? I did not. I did not. I, I looked at, in fact, I feel like Prime Day for me was learning about Prime Day. And then on the days, just kind of like... Nah. <laughs> oh, like okay. I did, I feel like I did a lot of research, try to find the deals, look at stuff, and then on the day I just decided, you know, I don't need any of this stuff, so I just okay. decided okay. I resisted. Did you though get anything? I, I, I did. Um, I needed a small TV for the kitchen, and Good. I wanted, so I just typed in smallest smart TV. And a 24-inch TV came up uh, with three uh, HDMI ports and built-in speaker. Um, and something bizarre that I could actually use. In addition to that, RCA jacks in the back for, you know, red, white, and yellow. Uh-huh. Old, and it turns out wow. that the kitchen TV uses those three jacks and the cable is fed through the wall and behind some bookcases. So the fact I can just use this TV yeah. the way it is. And it even has a cable input, um, 1080p, $99. Oh, that's great. How many so, inches again? I forgot. You already said. 24 inch. 24. Yeah. That's great. Uh, yeah. That's fan so it's fantastic it's when you don't have to figure out the cabling or anything. You don't have to. E exactly. Exactly. I can just take the other one out. And the other one is like a 13 inch or 14 inch. It was like $180. Little tiny little TVs are a fortune. Yeah. Yeah. So, it doesn't make sense when I can buy like an entire Google tablet for, for like the same price as like a small TV. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's like where are these panels TVs. being manufactured? Why? Are, oh my! Why are the tablets had, so cheap? Uh, I don't know. They had a forty-three inch smart TV for one ninety-nine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, but they Amazon did well. They sold two point five billion dollars worth of stuff the first day. Uh, wow! <laughs> it was the biggest. Prime Day. Wow. I think the news report said it was the biggest sales day in history of anything. Holy cow. Yeah. yeah. $2.5 billion. That's crazy. That's absolutely yeah. crazy. That's like, it was budget money. Yeah. <laughs> Can we just have 0. .00001% <laughs> of that? That would be fantastic. That would be good. That would be, That'd be good. Great. Um, yeah, the first billion was me, says Sims to Rachel uh, in the yeah. chat room. Yeah. Um, gosh, that is absolutely crazy that they can move that much product. Uh, uh, it is. I think that this Prime Day was different because I felt a lot, there was a lot, I saw a lot more advertising about the fact that it was Prime Day. Yes. Um, and I'm not sure if it was Amazon's advertising that was getting to me but i also i feel like i saw it in other places than just amazon um 
but maybe that was just people talking about it. To it. Like the New York Times had the best of Amazon Prime Day and the World right. Journal, the best of Am- and all the tech uh, websites. Uh, here's our picks of, of what Amazon is selling as the best buys. Yeah. So, yeah. It's we, kind of it was, weird for me to think conceptually of something that is, there was just so many things that you just couldn't cover it all. Like, there, it was impossible to cover it all. It's kind of like um, some, some of the trading thing. Like, I remember, this is, uh, y'all are going to think I live and breathe Disney, and I never stop thinking <laughs> about Disney, but Disney's uh, trading pins, I, the first time I ever heard of them, I thought, oh, I could probably collect all of them, every single trading pin that exists. I could probably collect them all. It's impossible. It's not possible. They have so many exclusive and and this little one over there and that one over there and over here and over. And that's how I felt about Prime Day is there was no way to like look at it all. You just kind of had to hope that The Verge or, you know, you saw something on Twitter. Yes, yes, absolutely. Or you like saw something like on your front page of Amazon. Like you were just kind of hoping that the thing you wanted would like surface. Because yes, there's just yeah. so many things um, happening. So, uh, yeah. Well, okay. I felt like I didn't go in hunting for anything specific, but, uh, and I bought like three or four things. There was like a 256 gigabyte Samsung micro SD card uh, and little USB plug in reader. $18. T- typically, what I've gotten is stuff that I've had an eye on, and I, it's like, oh, it's 30% off. This thing is never 30% off. That's how I got my uh, robot vacuums. I think I got a, uh, a drone that way. Definitely Uh-oh. Anchor products. <clears throat> anchor products always are... Anchor? Anchor? I think, I think I got a thing from Anchor that there's another 24 hours left. The... Uh, the wireless he- uh, microphone kit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, fours. One, the one seventy nine. Oh, that's oh. the dual wireless mics, and with the little plug-in. Oh, with- is this the one that you have? Yes, this, the the M six fifty was down to one seventy nine as opposed to one f- uh, two hundred and forty nine dollars. Wow. <clears throat> Wow. Yeah. I also was just looking, just searched Anchor on here. Um, oh man, I don't see. Yeah, it looks like most of them. This is nice. 5,000 milliamp hour battery for 50 bucks. But these nanos, oh my gosh. I think I'm not buying it. If I need to buy a brick, I'm buying these nanos because those things are awesome. They're yeah. just so small for how many wattage you get. That's cool. Um, I see people in the chat also sharing some of their Amazon picks. I've seen a few things go by. So, cool. Amazon Prime Day. That's exciting. Okay, well, maybe let's let's jump in. Jump into, okay. Um, This this, this holiday preview. They used to call it a holiday in July. This year it was like the end of June, so we'll just call it holiday in summer. And uh, my final three, I may have a fourth one later on in the year, but here's something from Monster. Here at Monster, we know Monster. They've been uh, at every show at CES for years and years. But I picked this up and I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at. Ethan. What is this? Yeah, so this is the Clarity Pro. This is the newest Monster Innovation. And this is open ear headphones. So. Ah. Unlike most headphones that you put into your ear canal, these actually sit on top of your ear. So but it, it's not bone connection. It's not bone. No, it's not. It's not ah. like a jawbone. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, it, it's literally. Oh, I see what you're saying. Can I try one on? Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Okay. So the, the the sound is being beamed right into your ear, but it doesn't touch. It doesn't make contact with your ear. Oh, it sounds very nice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, then you can now? still talk. Oh, okay. They're going to be coming out in time for holidays. Okay. They'll be out in October. Okay. The price will be under $100. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, and it's great for anybody if you want to ride your bike or if you want to drive your car. 
uh, you can still hear what's going on yeah. around you and enjoy your podcast or your music. Actually, that's whatever. right, because we're, I'm hearing very decent music, but we're still talking. Yeah, right. And how do you charge them? Oh, it's it's got a little um, a little uh, charging cable that comes right in the bag. It just a pops mag- onto a the little magnetic. A little magnetic thing that attaches right there, and it's just a USB charging. So you can plug it, charge it from any USB. Great. Any idea how much play time you would get out of a charge? Uh, enough to last a whole day. I mean, I've been okay. I've been using this already for more than four hours, and it's still seventy percent. Okay, great. So coming in October, and the name of them? Yeah, that's the Clarity Pro. Clarity Pro. And you can get it on Monster Store, or uh, it'll be on Amazon too. On Amazon. Too. Yeah, I think that's great. It's small, but it's a monster technology. <laughs> That's cool. I um, have used, I so I've played around with the bone conduction stuff. And I think I understand uh, what's happening here, which is it's a speaker just over your ear with enough it, air. That, yes, that's exactly right. And, and, it, and it sounded decent, but bone uh, connection. Conduction. Induction. There's yeah. never any bass in it, or at least the two that I've yes. tried over the years. It's really hard to get a few frequencies. And so it's it always feels a little bit like you're um, listening to your audio through a walkie-talkie. Yeah, or <laughs> an old transistor like, radio. Yes, you're like, there should be some more <laughs> music here, I feel like. Yeah. Um, and so that felt more like full clarity. Uh, yes, it was. I guess that's the it, name of them. Yeah. Clarity. Uh, that's cool. That's really cool. This is, honestly, this is probably something for me, as someone who runs all the time, um, this is perfect because you can hear traffic, people yelling at you, saying, hey, get out of the road! You can tell (laughs) when they're mad at you. Um, so, that's neat. And under a hundred dollars. And it's the Clarity Pro, and I was on the. It's, <clears throat> it's not on the Monster website, but I went yes. to the Monster website. It seems everything is called Clarity, so uh-huh. this will be the Clarity Pro. Yeah, if you go to the headphones, yeah, let's go to their audio. Oh, they're, they're doing a lot of stuff. I know they really are. There's some there. Uh, the DNA goes, the verse, the Clarity 8.0. ANC auto noise canceling auto noise canceling active noise canceling I guess it is I guess it is active noise canceling there you go that's oh, yeah. cool <clears throat> active noise why not yeah. uh, but anyway they so these he said October they would be out so they won't be on the website for quite some time and it'll also cool. go to Amazon awesome 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 um, monster I yeah just, haven't heard just, of them since the uh Really, those cables just became so infamous. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> is, exactly. Do you want to buy three hundred dollar audio cables? <laughs> buy them from Monster. Yeah, um, exactly, exactly. Yes, uh, yes. This next, I went to this exhibit, and I, and I spoke to the the PR lady because I thought I was looking at like a, a kid toothbrush, and then she explained that. It is two dentists, uh, a married couple, who think there is not enough emphasis on treating kids' teeth properly from toddler to, I think, 13. So they came out with four complete systems and toothbrushes and gadgets for every range group. So everything you see on this table is from these two people. Uh, well, you'll, she'll explain. It, okay. It's so involved, but <laughs> someone has put a lot of work Are we going to need, like, an encyclopedia with an yeah. index? Well, well, so like... we'll go to their website, and you can see they break it down by age. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so here's the video. What we have here, this is the amazing Supermouth. And Supermouth is customizable dental systems for kids of all ages, everybody from being a pregnant woman up to 13 plus, orthodontics, you name it. But what's great about Supermouth is they make it super interactive and fun for kids to brush their teeth. (laughs) This, for example, brings characters to life and you can make her big or small. There are so many different choices of different ways you want to do it. So we can pick a different game. We can pick all about cavities. You hit the little button. He'll load up. Oop. I took a picture. 
Oh, look, there's, these are the cavities. Oh, she's coming in to, to brush them away. It's amazing. So what's really, really nice is because it's completely customizable. So if you have kids that are, say, two and they're twins, one has cavities and one doesn't, you can get toothpaste with fluoride for one and non-fluoride for the other one. One likes chocolate, one likes vanilla. Great, you can pick a customizable toothpaste for each of them. It's fantastic. It comes in all different sizes, all different tools for kids to love to brush their teeth. And, and like this van... That, yeah. That's where the character came from. So, right? yeah, so this is the Cavatar Cubby. What's neat about it is as you put your toothbrush in there, it'll dispense the exact amount of toothpaste that you need. It has uh, it a toothbrush holder. It comes with a great ice cream cup to, to rinse your mouth. And then, of course, the toothpaste, depending on your preference. This is Cavatar. He's the bad guy in the, uh, the League <laughs> of uh, Super Mouth. And so what's great ah. is on one side of the Cavatar, you see him drive in the ice cream truck. But on the other side, this is where you scan that photo. And that's when augmented reality will bring those characters right into life, whether you're in your bathroom or in your kitchen or in your car, wherever you want. And what does that retail for? So this is about $40. 40 40 oh, okay. But what's great is this is such a customizable system that you can get these every three months, anywhere from $7 you know, up to $125, depending on how much you need for your entire family. It's really, really fun. Again, pregnant women, 0 to 2, 2 to 5, 6 to 12, 13 plus, which I love. I've been doing that every day. And then even those that have or, um, orthodontal needs. And what's the website? Supermouth.com. Supermouth.com. Fortunately, I'm older than 13, so I don't have to brush my teeth. Thank God. <laughs> uh, yeah, right there with you, you know. And the, yeah. day, I, yeah. the day I turned yeah. 14, I was done. Done with oh, that. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and and now you're done with most of your teeth. Exactly. So, you know, yeah, it's honestly. A, it's, a, it's a trade off. <laughs> You can either have gums or teeth, but you have to, if you want the teeth part, you're going to have to work for it. See, that's, I thought people were complimenting you when you said, wow, you have super mouth, super bad breath mouth. And I was thinking, <laughs> that's great. This is fantastic. Yeah, so, I, I mean... I can't believe, wait a second, also, that there is a, she's saying there is a system for a child... During pregnancy? Yeah, I don't know how that works. Before? I do not know. <laughs> I don't know how that works. That I is, don't know. Do you, do you swallow okay. the toothpaste and say, "Hey, this is for you." The and only thing I can think there. of is vitamins. That is the only thing I can think of. Is that maybe it's a vitamin mm -hmm. system to promote the teeth in the child before they're born? <laughs> I guess. That, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I I didn't understand that either. But m my God, they have they a have so ton much of stuff for. Honestly, you know, there's too much. I I am overwhelmed. I need. Um, yeah, it is a lot. Look at this. Look at this. Systems. Oh, you know, click click pregnancy just for laughs and see what it shows. Uh, Pregnancy coming yeah. soon. Oh, Dang it. Oh, yeah, yeah, along with the baby. Yeah, uh, right. Get uh, click Hormones. on this once you have the kid born. So improper or early development of pregnancy gingivitis or cavities in expecting mothers. I had no idea. I've what learned something you, new that today. Can negatively impact the health of their child. I've never heard of this. No, it didn't have I. Um, but yeah, so like let's say you have a 6 to 12 year old. We can click that. We can find out. So we got mouthwash options. It looks like we have some of the uh, toothbrushes. So these are, I guess, for, you know, obviously the older children. Let's look at 2 to 5. That seems like oh, pretty young. Gonna You're going to want to have stuff. fun. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So let's click this option. $67. What do we get? We get, it looks like some uh, floss uh, options, some toothpaste, a tongue. Uh, uh, I think it is a tongue. A tongue scrubber, some spray, um, you, obviously the toothbrush. toothbrush. And then some the games. Three bottles of something. Huh. Huh. This, there's so I, much. I, I know. And there's so much to understand here. Um, You're talking to someone who's still buying AIM toothpaste, which is <laughs> <laughs> like a dollar. Well, Bed Bath & Beyond's gone now. It was like a buck forty-nine a tube. That's so funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, 
It, but if you're it's, into teeth. It's very yeah. impressive, honestly, that there's, I mean, the moment that she said the cavity captain or whatever. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, you can shoot the, yes. I don't mean to, it sounds like I'm making fun, and I'm not. But I just forget the name of the of the characters. But the moment she mentioned the characters, it's like, okay, this is like a thing. This is a fully realized like there's a multiverse going on no, here. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and I think that's really, really cool. I could see kids being excited about the characters and making sure that you do your chore of keeping your oral hygiene up because of these characters. So yeah. interesting. Yeah. Supermouth.com. Very oh, easy oh. to remember. That's cool. Uh, okay, and our final one is Joy for All. You may, well, you'll, you'll see the video because you may remember this doggy. Here we are. We're here at Joy for All, and we remember this guy. Remind us how this guy uh -huh. What he does. So he's pretty easy technology. All you have to do is turn it upside down, turn it on, off or mute, and it responds to touch, light, and sound. It actually is barkback technology. So as you talk to it, it'll turn to you, respond bark to you. Back as you technology. pet it, it will have a heartbeat that's very <laughs> soothing um, as well. And it does respond to light. <laughs> uh, yeah, our cat will just roll the cat over. Is saying, excuse it's me, saying, excuse I'm me, a I'm the star. <laughs> I want belly rubs. <laughs> and then it'll turn over. And all of our pets have been shown to have the same efficacy as live pets. So they've shown to decrease feelings of loneliness, isolation, and depression. I actually gave one of these to uh, a senior citizen yeah. who loves it. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's great. And, and what is with the, the bird I've never seen? Yeah, so the bird is super fun. It's actually been invented by a 93, nine, now 95-year-old woman named Marita Malone. She kept forgetting to use her walker, and she thought, well, if I just had a nice, friendly reminder, I won't forget as often. And so um, it'll start to sing as you move, and then as you stop, it will actually remind you to use your walker as well. So it should, oh, I'm on a slant, but, so if you start walking, and then you stop, and it'll do it in a second. It's in the middle of a song. It has to get through its sonata. Yes, I think so. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then it'll actually do a don't forget me as well. Oh, I pet it, so it's it went into companion oh, okay. mode. That's my bad. It'll, it'll say don't it'll forget say, me? It'll make a little sound like do to do do like don't forget me. Um, you can also take it off in companion mode. Let's see if it'll... There we go, the don't forget me. So once you leave it alone and don't pet it, it's just hard not to touch it, it's so cute. So I'll do it twice to not forget it. And then you can actually take it right into your can. It's like our best travel size companion, taking it on planes, taking it on walks, or just throwing it into your purse or in the basket of your walker. And it responds to touch, light, and sound, just like our pups, but in this small little compact okay. size. My favorite thing is actually if you pet the back of it, it'll start to coo. Yes. Oh, how sweet. Yeah. And it comes with this little attachment? It does. So we like to say complex robotics, but easy to use. So all you do is take this little strap. It goes onto any mobility device from walker to wheelchair. And you literally just strap it on. And once it's on this magnet, it now knows that it's on a walker and will start to sing and remind you as well. Okay, and it runns on? Just two AA, uh, AAA batteries. Two AAA batteries. Yeah, so uh, pretty easy. Okay, and the price point? $64.99. Okay, and out now? It's out now in Cardinal and Bluebird, and they sound like their prospective birds, so they're very realistic. That's great. <laughs> I don't know what either bird sounds like, but I love the look of this. It sounds really interesting for all the people and bird lovers. That is so crazy. Uh, I cannot uh, tell uh, 90, if uh, that would be for your old woman. If it, as you go by and the bird is chirping, would that be annoying for other people? Probably. <laughs> as you're probably. moving past. <laughs> well, the thing um. is. <clears throat> You're probably going to be walking faster than the person is, so you're only you're only going to hear it for a few. Seconds. That is true. Is I would come across the 
chirping as I yes, as exactly, I walk over. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And, and fortunately, it sells for a lot less. Like on Amazon and Walmart, I, I think it's forty eight dollars. And there are two. There's the cardinal, and I don't know that the cardinal looks like a cardinal, but I'm not right. sure what that other bird is. Let's see. Uh, we got the cardinal and the bluebird. It's just a blue bird. It looks like oh, the Twitter okay. bird sat in some mud. Yes, it do it does. <laughs> it does. A bluebird's more blue than that. It's super it's cute. Anywhere. It really is. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can't. I, I feel like this is like a half step away from putting AI in these robotic pets. Like we are just a little bit away from like them being able <laughs> to be like real pets. Oh they, yeah, that could be. That could it, be. It feels like they're on this robotic pet train. You know, yeah. they're making these robotic pets that seem so lifelike and they're your companion. Yeah, How? the dog, um, the guy I gave it to said, oh, you know, and I think the dog actually sells for 80 bucks. He said, I, I always wanted a dog. And, I, you know, I said to Dennis, let's just buy him one of those. And for months after he would call me and he goes, this I, what I love is that the dog, um, when you walk by, the dog's head follows you as you go into the bedroom or as you come out of the bedroom, the dog's head follows you. And when you hold him, I think there's a heartbeat. Oh, and he cool. named the dog and he, he said, <laughs> it's not a real dog, he said, but it's very comforting. I just love having this around. So. That's great. That's exactly yeah. what it's intended to do. That's amazing. Yeah, um, and unlike some of those, I guess they were, uh, Japan came out with the baby seal that you held, <laughs> I did and see it that. was I did four see or five hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I thought, whoa. Yeah, I just can't wait till Chat GPT though is injected. Oh in my! Those, yeah, you know, you absolutely, and it can just talk back to you and. Have you seen the Lightyear movie? No. In Lightyear, in the Lightyear movie, there's this uh, robotic cat named Socks. And it reminds me so much of this because it is AI driven. Here's an image of that little cat right there named Socks. Here it is again. And it's robotic and it speaks to Buzz Lightyear and it gives them advice and it like does stuff. And I feel like that's where we're at. We're just a half step away from just stick a brain in that thing and it follows, but it also responds, <laughs> yeah. you know? Um, that's so much what it, it reminds me of. And the fact that it has bark back technology oh, is not, you, oh, not you lost are. on us. We, we realize this new technology that's cool. I really like it. Joy for all. And they oh, have wait, a, the way it, <clears throat> the bird has chirp back. Tweet no. back. We could just call it retweets. Really. Yeah, oh, that's, that's very good. That's, that's, that's we'll, excellent. That's I'm excellent. sure that won't cause market confusion at all. <laughs> um, so Joy for all, that is the walker squawker is the bird. And then, of course, we've, we've seen the cat and the dog on previous shows. Sure. So, you know, exactly. joy for all. Exactly. With that, let's move on to Chad. Crappy. Chad. Crappy corner. Get it. Okie dokie. We are at it with a summer outdoor gadget. I have it right here. Uh, let's go to the video that I recorded oh, okay. earlier hey, today. So we are back with another summer outdoor gadget. And today we are taking a look at the Sky Foil. So this is a kite, but it has a few features that I'm excited to try out. Uh, it mentions that it is like ready to fly. It is just ready to go. There's not a setup. There's not a lot of setup. There should be no setup. Should be just be able to move 
Uh, I'm hoping that we get enough wind today. I can feel a breeze right now. So I am a little worried about how much wind we have, but uh, let's see if we can use the sky foil as a new fancy kite. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna get inside of here. So that's it. That's all just packaging right there. So we just step on that. We have our string and a loop. And then I think this is everything. And if you ever set put together a uh, kite that isn't just ready to go, the poles and putting them into little pockets and getting them all correct, uh, that can be really, really annoying. Um, and even sometimes these, you have to like string the string through. It's just not that, not that great. So it looks like literally this just unfolds one of uh there's a loop here so that loop i take the plastic piece on this and i just connect it into that loop oh, okay. and we're good to go there that's ready to fly and then the last thing is i just kind of need to take off these streamers and they mention on the back that you can actually tie them together for better stability well, I'm not going to do that. So maybe this will just be crazy unstable. And then <laughs> they say back towards the wind. The wind is behind me. And just kind of let it go. <laughs> this is where we need a stiff breeze. We need a breeze to come along and grab it. Maybe I need to run. It looks like we have a tiny I was just going to say wind. running Maybe might help get it going. Right now. <clears throat> I'll see if I can catch some wind. Okay, so while we wait for the wind, I just want to show you how it's constructed. So it's sort of like a uh, material that it's like one of those high tech, almost like quick dry materials. And there's baffles built into uh, the middle and the sides. So as it catches the wind, it'll kind of fill out. And so that's why there's like no setup required is there's no poles, there's no uh, stiff pieces in this. So it really does just unfold and is ready to fly. And then when I'm done with it, I can just carefully fold it away and pack it away for the next time that I want to use it. As long as these three lines right here don't get too tangled, then I should be all good to go. Uh, I tried so hard. Oh no, oh no. Oh, there, oh there, oh. Ah. <coughs> I don't think there's you should enough behind your Tesla. To keep this guy up. But I think you can get the idea I should have. of how out the window. <clears throat> the sky. Oh, there right, we've been oh, here for 20 minutes. Here it go. is in the sky, flying around. Oh, uh, there is barely a breeze right now. So trying to get this to work with the amount of uh, wind that we have is difficult. But uh, that's what it looks like once it's in the sky. Okay, so that is the sky foil. It is nice that you don't have anything to construct. And now that we're done, all I have to do is fold it up and I'm ready to go. Uh, obviously, I wanna make sure that none of this gets tangled, um, but that's the nice part about this. No setup, really no tear down, uh, super compact if you want a fun kite to bring with you on your adventures. Back to you guys. Okie dokie, that's the, the sky no, foil. That's good when it's up there. Yeah, I think that if you are uh, going to something that you know will have wind, like a beach, that sort of situation, and you want a kite, aim for this. If you, you know, if, if you actually want to have something that's small, compact, you can easily pack away after or before. Um, so here it is. This one, uh, the exact design I had is listed online uh, for $13.97, but here's a very similar one. When I was in the store, they had a display of a lot of different uh, styles. 
So it's weird because online they're all kind of popping up as different prices, but uh, these are all the same. And um, I gotta say, I liked it. I, I got unlucky with the amount of wind, but uh, I don't think that was the fault of the kite. I think it's a good kite and uh, hassle-free also. So there we go. The yeah, sky foil. Um, Pretty it's nice. Six and six. Anyway, that's it. Okay, so I'll uh, be back with some more uh, outdoor summer gadgets next week. Excellent. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Ooh. All right, our warehouse video is from Linda Norman, and it's two gadgets, the first of which is a what the heck is it, Ooh. and we'll have Linda tell the story. Hi, Dick and Chad. I have a couple of small gadgets here that we ran across cleaning out a storage area. The first one I'm going to do is a what the heck is it. So here's what? the first one. And take a look at that. E-M-C-O. And see if you can figure out what that is. Dick might know what this is. Um, it reminds me of the on its side, which Amazon to some people. buttons. Oh, no, it does not. Right. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, a ticket punch? If yeah, something like that. haven't figured out what it is. Well, it's the only thing I can think of. And let's see, that's the best side. For yeah, this. hole puncher yeah. is saying. Hole. There it is. A product from the 80s. What? Uh, made for what? the larger uh, four inch discs uh, so that you could flip them over and use both sides of the disc. Oh. It's basically a little punch. And best part is. I didn't realize both sides of the disc out were of magnetic. The box and, um, <laughs> yeah, that, that would work. It. And when I took the cover off, I found. Oh, oh there's stuff all these in there. Bits oh, from that's cool. The discs that we doubled. It's a floppy oh, notcher. Yeah, that's a, so yeah. it's a, basically, it's got a uh, little punch, and you push this down. They wouldn't let you use the other side? And you push this down, and you it have to buy this? Punch a little groove in the side of the disc that would allow you to... Loquacious and Becky are both saying they remember it. Use both sides. Wow. So that's pretty cool. That is cool. And old. The other thing I found was this, and let's see if it focuses. Yeah, okay. So this isn't quite as old. This is uh, from the 90s. Uh, I want to say I got this in like 94, 95. Um, it is a Webster's spell checker. <clears throat> I had this. And when we brought this home, I pulled out my iFixit kit because I wanted to open it up and take the battery out and see if I could get it working. And before I did that, I hit the on-off button and it turned on. <laughs> I don't know what kind of battery is in this that lasted for at least 25 years, if That's not crazy. longer. Oh my uh, but gosh! But it did. And this was pretty cool. It does. Um, it does what I got it for, which is phonetic spelling, because I can't spell to save my life. So you could type in a, a word phonetically, yeah. and uh, it would give you the correct spelling for the word. I also played a few word games and stuff, but uh, I think I used it for maybe a year, and I didn't like it that much. I, I, found, I actually found a paper dictionary to be more useful than, uh, than this. But you can still find them. Uh, I found some links on eBay, uh, people selling the older ones, and they actually make, I think they're still making it because I found it on Amazon as well. Uh, but I'll include the links in the email. So those are my uh, those are my two uh, storage unit finds. Uh, I'm sure I'll have more because we're cleaning the storage unit out. That is so so cool. I love and, and I love Franklin made a ton of these pocket dictionaries yes. and and uh, language little computer things yes uh, i feel like i covered oh my gosh here it is this was the pocket dictionary that i used forever i think it was this one 
It looks oh, like this one. hundred dollars. Yeah, it may not have been this exact one. It was expensive, and the reason was is it would speak the word to you. So after you had oh. plugged in your incorrect word, it would show you um, a list of words that it thought that your word was, and you could hit the speak button, and it would say the word to you. And that was super helpful to me because even though it might look like the right word, you know, thought and through look very similar. Yeah. So I could I could have accidentally chosen, I could have been trying to spell through, ended up seeing a word that was thought and just assumed that that was the correct word because I can't spell or read. <laughs> so I would choose the wrong word. Um, so I had, I had a whole bunch of different uh, pocket dictionaries growing up um, and um, that was one of them and I, I think I had one very similar to what Linda had um, and, and then and the, go, go to the Amazon link sheet it, what are, are they still selling a new version of that it wasn't quite sure it looks like it's just a used oh it is the very thing yeah it's the very thing buy new you can apparently buy it new for $34 oh my, oh my gosh there's no this is, huh, that's crazy. I assume that something like this still exists. <laughs> they don't just only do paper now, right? Because uh, now I'm sure the interface could be so much better. Maybe not. Maybe this is the same. Yeah, the, the, I remember the electric dictionaries being so frustrating because it, it is such a step... It's such an extra step, is, is you be either writing and you have to go pull it out, type in your word on the tiny keyboard. Sometimes, you know, if you misspell it so bad, it won't be able to figure out what it is. You kind of use its crummy interface to figure it out and then you write it down. I mean, nowadays with either voice to text yeah. or with its just typical uh, keyboard autocorrect and yes, you know spell we'll check. It's it. just so much better than using one of these back in the day. <laughs> and I cannot believe that the punch for the floppy disks that they would uh, give you a floppy disk that could be used on the other side, and you couldn't use yeah, it. Yeah, I, I can just see it in the meeting. The engineer saying, "Now you know." We could put a punch here, and then they would have double the capacity. And then someone would say, well, let them just buy another disc if they need more storage. We'll sell I, twice as many discs. I feel like it went the other way. Is Oh, and by the way, these can be used on both sides. How can we stop that? Well, I guess we could put a punch on one side, and then it won't fit the other way. So we can make sure they only use one side. Oh, that's funny. That, that's funny, yeah. Golly, that is so funny. That was a great video. That was amazing. Linda, video. that was great. So, Linda, email me your address, and uh, you'll get the current issue of Mad Magazine. And that was great fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That I punch agree. really had us going. How can people send in videos? If they uh, like? Yes, a video can be about any kind of a gadget, and now it seems that people are finding unique gadgets and making them what the heck is it. You can do that too. Um, or it can be something you just bought and love, something you bought and hate. Uh, anything to do with any kind of a gadget, make a little video, one to three minutes, uh, horizontal landscape format, and make sure we can see the gadget and hear you. You can be in it if you want, or if you're shy, or just shooting it yourself. Uh, you don't have to be in it. Um, put the video up on YouTube. There's a drop-down menu. Click Unlisted. That way, only people with the URL will be able to see it. And send us a link to your video. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. If you live in the U.S. and Canada, You'll get the current issue of MAD. If you live elsewhere in the world, I will sign a 40-year-old Alfred Newman photo and send you a high-res image to print out wherever you are. Perfect. Uh, do it now, okay? I think we have maybe one more video, or that might have been the last one. So do it! <laughs> do it! With that, let's move on to the letter!
now. All right, not an email, but you know, is Ranger Rick and Magoo in chat? Oh. Because they actually sent me and through the mail. Oh, I think they are in chat, by okay, the way. Okay, and they said, since you are doing all these gifts, Merry Christmas in July. <laughs> <laughs> and since you like trains, we are sending you in July. <laughs> oh, Christmas train! Oh, those Dun -dun. are fun. <laughs> I can put this in the window, and I have a coal car, and oh, I have a so Christmas cute. tree. So it's a very funny idea. That is amazing. Uh, so you, that That's a physical cool. letter. You got a physical letter. I know, a physical letter. Who <laughs> knew that the post office... I didn't know there still was a post office. <laughs> I, thought, I thought only Amex sent letters nowadays. Uh, that's crazy. <laughs> that, was, that was so funny. Guys, that that's was great. very funny. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, those, those look super fun. Um, that's neat. Christmas... In the summer. Can't get enough of it. I absolutely exactly. love it. Exactly. And next week, sweet, sweet. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Perfect. So we'll we like sweet, out. sweet. Boys, that's a great event. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Um, okay. Well, with that, I want to say a big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so, so, so much for your support of our show you guys support us every single episode so thank you thank you thank you so much for your support um, and then also people give via paypal as well thank you for giving via paypal we appreciate your generosity there as well however you want to give back to the show if you like the show please head on over to gizwiz.tv click on the patreon tab at the top of our website and then there'll be a big old patreon banner there that you can click or you can uh, click on the small itty bitty link to PayPal. So here we go, Patreon banner. I should probably get rid of the CES fundraiser on the top of our website, just <laughs> noticing that. Support on Patreon, click that, or you got your PayPal link there as well. So thank you all so much for your support of our show. If you like our show, please consider giving back over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can watch the show live. My dog is in the in here. Toast, what are you doing? I can see his tail over here. Oh, oh that's good. Oh, that's Toast, very funny. what are you doing? Come here. Come here. Oh, my gosh, you crazy dog. Okay, well, head on over to our website, gizwiz.tv. That's where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. I hope that my, my internet... Oh, man, my internet is... Dropping out. I apologize for that. Um, so head on over there, watch the show, join the chat room, chat along with everybody, and uh, have a grand time. Gizwiz.tv. If we um, are live, the website will just update. That's 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern time that that updates. And uh, if it's not live, you can catch our shows after the fact there at Gizwiz.tv. Head on over to gizwiz.biz, that's Sticky D's website where he writes up articles about all the gadgets that we talk about on the show. So if you're, if you're ever needing a refresher, head on over to gizwiz.biz. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? This is an entire gadget that you have to guess what the heck it is. This is what you're guessing. So if you think you know, head on over to gizwiz.biz and place your gets. This is uh, obvious uh, for me that this is a miniature uh, Wall-E uh, from the Pixar movie. Oh, uh, this okay. is a, okay. a miniature yeah. of one of the robots uh, that they um, have for, for Wall-E. So if you think you know what it is, get a guess in, at gizwiz.biz. Six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, or interesting answers. So get a guess in, over at gizwiz.biz. Biz! That about wraps it up for our show. I'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>